mobile games are dead and they're not really a good source of passive income for game developers anymore but you can still make games and upload them to browser platforms to earn some passive income from your games so today in this video let's find out which are the top browser platforms where you can upload your games to earn some passive income every month i am anul and i make games and apps as a solo developer while traveling here and there so welcome to my channel so what are web games? Web games are games that are built for the web and not for any platform like Android, iOS, desktop or any console like PlayStation. So you can access it via your browser and just play it in the browser itself. You can play it via desktop or your mobile. The games are built in HTML and JavaScript. You can use Unity, Godot, Play Canvas, Cocos or any other web friendly engine. Unity is not the most web-friendly engine, but you can still make games and make it run on the web. I have a detailed video guide for this if you want to take a look. The first on the list is game distribution. Game distribution is not really a platform where players go and play the game, but they're rather a distributor of games. So other browser platforms come to game distribution and they look at their collection of games which are uploaded by other developers and they just take the game, use the iframe to embed the game into their platform. This way they don't really have to come up with new games, build it by themselves or look for developers who can put the game on their website, but rather they just come to game distribution, take the game, put it on their website. This way game distribution can show the ads inside the game with which they split the revenue with the developers. And the platform, they are able to have a good collection of games that the players can look forward to. Game distribution also provides you with a dashboard that shows you some statistics like how many players are playing the game, the average engagement, the ad score, and a general overview of how your games are performing. If you plan to upload a game, it is pretty straightforward. They have a dashboard where you can just add a game, add some details like language, theme, genre, or what kind of a game it is, which device is it built for, mobile, desktop, orientation, and other information that can help other browser platforms discover your game in a better way. So you can just upload your game's zip file onto the platform. They have an SDK as well, because you need to call some of their code to show ads in the game to track whether the SDK is initialized or not. And it is pretty straightforward. The documentation for Unity is it can take you up to 30 to 40 minutes to integrate the SDK. And once everything is set, you can upload the final build of the game, upload the logos, the cover images, some assets that can make your game more discoverable and then submit the game for them to check. Once your games are live, you can have access to this dashboard which shows you how your game is performing for revenue. So here you can see I'm earning a couple of euros every day, a few euros every day. Also because I have not worked on any new games for this platform since a long while. The next on my list is Pokey. Pokey is probably one of the biggest web games platform out there. And they are played by players from all over the globe, including kids, teenagers, even adults. And they host all kinds of games from shooters to idols, to runner, to physics based, to sports. And you can imagine any kind of game and they would have it over there because they have such a varied player base. Play Pokey probably has around 80 million monthly active players, which is a lot. And these players play up to 8 to 10 sessions in a month. So accounting up to more than 800 million gameplays every month, which is insane. And I don't think any other platform has a higher session count than Pokey as of now. Since they are one of the biggest game platforms out there, they have quite a lot of demand from developers and every web game developer wants to upload their game on their platform, which is why they only curate the games they wish to be on the platform. The games have to follow certain guidelines. They also have to go through a process of playtesting, which means you upload the game on the dashboard and it will need to be showcased to some players like a soft launch or like a playtesting session so you can have some data on how the game is performing. Which was not the case a couple of years ago because the demand was not so high. But now since a lot of developers are pushing their games to be on Pokey, they only want 
the games of the highest quality and standard. With their playtesting feature, you also get access to screen recordings of how the game is being played by the players. And the final platform that I want to show today is Crazy Games. Crazy Games comes after Pokey because they have a good player base, but the player count is not as high as Pokey. They probably do around 30 to 40 million monthly active players, but they have a really amazing collection of games. Now, a lot of developers were actually pissed with Crazy Games because they could upload a game and it would immediately get rejected. But Crazy Games is also following a pattern similar to Boogie where they are curating games specifically suitable for their platform. They also provide a very accessible and insightful dashboard. So for one of my games here, you can see that you can view a lot of data from player count to revenue to the loading time, engagement and retention as well. So it's pretty good for the developers who can publish a game on Crazy Games because all of this data can help you improve the game, see how the players are playing, where they are joining off or some other details like that. And uploading a game on Crazy Games is also quite straightforward. You create a new game, you add the details, you upload the build and you add some images like icon cover images, you go to the QA testing tool which checks if the SDK is integrated properly, if all the events are being called, if the ad is being showcased properly or not. So this is like your self-serve QA checklist which has to be completed before you can submit the game for actual QA from their end. If you are a game developer and looking for some extra passive income from your games, you can definitely try reaching out to one of these platforms with your game. Uh, you can't expect a lot of uh, money you can't expect maybe three, four thousand dollars every month unless your game is really good. But a good estimate could be in the range of five hundred to a thousand dollars a month, which is again depending on your game's quality, engagement, and the preference of the platform. I also have a small Discord channel where I have a thousand plus game developers discussing how to make games using AI tools or putting it on web platforms. So feel free to join. The link is in the description. So. See you next time.